I'm gonna show you how to get real cinematic depth to your videos using Runway and After Effects. Let's dive into it. So first, if you don't have an account for Runway, you can create one for free and you could use these tools. Okay, so now I'm in Runway. I'm gonna go down to AI Tools and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on Extract Depth. And then here, I'm just gonna drag and drop my clip. And then here, it's gonna extract the depth. I'm gonna hit Process. And you can see, this is what it should look like. So I'm gonna hit Export. And since I have a paid account, I'm gonna export this as 1080p. If you have a free account, it will be a little bit lower resolution. And then back in After Effects, I have my source clip right here. And I'm also gonna drag in my depth clip. It's lined up perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my depth clip and I'm gonna bring that underneath my main clip. So then from here, I'm gonna go to the camera lens blur effect. I'm gonna drag that onto my main clip. And then here under blur map, I'm gonna go to layer and I'm gonna click on my depth layer. And then from there, I'm gonna click on invert blur map. So I'm gonna isolate my bottom layer here. The stuff that's in pure white is the stuff that's really in focus. So if I go back to my clip here, you can see that right here is kind of in focus. So I actually need to tweak this a little bit. So I'm gonna isolate my blur map and I'm gonna go to curves effect. I'm gonna drag that onto my blur map. And I'm just gonna create a couple points here where I'm actually going to, I'm gonna bring my levels up, mostly her face and her body. And then from here, I could adjust how light or dark my background is, that will determine how much of my background is in focus. So I'm gonna go about right here, and then I'll go back to my main clip. If I go under source, I'm gonna go effects and masks. So that's gonna take into effect the curves effect. And you can see right away, her face is sharpened. And then from here, I could raise or lower the blur radius. I could also adjust the blur focal distance which is actually pretty cool. If I wanna do a rack focus from her to the background, I can. And there you go, you have a nice cinematic effect that you could add to pretty much any video using Runway and After Effects.